in this video, I'm going to go over a lot more add-ons that can have a huge impact on your FPS based on your comments as well as my own experience. Because weak ores and texture models aren't the only thing that are tanking FPS. There are others too, and they merit mention too in this video. And I'm going to dive right in. I'm going to start with the first one, which a lot of you mentioned in the comments too. And that's LVI and Took UI. Many of you mentioned that when you disable this or switch to a different add on, it boosted the FPS significantly. Like this add on was causing performance issues. I haven't used that, those add-ons myself because I tend to lean away from all-in-ones packages. But if you're noticing huge performance issues with these add-ons, maybe worth trying some settings or try and use a different add-on entirely, or maybe contact an add-on author to investigate. Maybe send them this video or my previous video so they can investigate. Maybe they're running into the same bug. Maybe it's not a coding issue. Maybe they're actually triggering the model issue too. So it's worth investigating in their discord you know say hey i tried your add-on versus this add-on and your add-on has much lower fps can you please look at my uh settings or profile and investigate this so i, I suggest reaching out to them to investigate it because i don't really know much about it other than the fact that a lot of you are saying lvy was your culprit not uh the weak R models so that's the first one now, the second one, which a lot of you brought up, was Plater. Now, I use Plater, and it's not causing me massive performance issues. But the thing about Plater is it's very similar to Weakars in that it's very Lego based. You know, many different profiles, many different styles, many different custom scripts that you can import and use. So, my Plater is not the same as your Plater or their Plater or their Plater. So, if you're getting performance issues with Plater, it might just be that you have an erroneous script in here that don't belong. For example, even if you updated your add-ons for the War Within, if you have old save variables from like last expansion or two expansions ago, you might have scripts that aren't even compatible with the current expansion. You might be throwing Lua errors that you're not seeing because your errors are turned off. Which is why I strongly recommend you install Bug Grapper and Bug Sack. They're two add-ons that make error diagnostics better. So they're not popping up in your face, they're not interrupting you in combat, but it also means you can solve errors enabled. Because a lot of you disable Lua errors because the default ones are intrusive pop-ups that disrupt gameplay. So they're annoying. And you don't want annoying things. It's like, imagine if you had a check engine light in your car that when it turns on, it blocks your windshield. Like, people would ins uninstall that check engine light, wouldn't they? That's what Blizzard does. It's preposterous. Like, it's no wonder everyone turns the way airs off. The way Blizzard presents them is crappy. But you install these add-ons, you see errors. That's a good way to detect right away red flag add-ons that might be causing you performance issues. Anything that's throwing errors could be tanking your FPS. And that, and that also involves scripts within add-ons, including weak ORs and player scripts. The add-on might be functional and compatible with the expansion, but your weak R or your player script might not be. So that's why your player might be having performance issues. Even still, even if you're not throwing Lua errors, maybe the profile yourself is using different animations. Maybe the profile is using models. I don't know. I know particularly I use the Quasi profile because I like it for Mythic Plus, and it doesn't cause me performance issues. I tweak it a bit. I change the colors around a bit. And I change the fonts and sizes, but for the most part, most of the profile's defaults the same, and I think I turned a couple script check marks off. But otherwise, player's not causing me performance issues. But if it's causing you performance issues, definitely investigate it with the tips I've given you. The next add-on that people have mentioned a lot is details. And details, I think, comes down to a bad default setting. By default, as an update interval of 0.2 which means it updates five times per second. And every update is calculating healing, DPS, and everything else in the fight, and then updating the display with graphical rendering bars in real time. And that's very demanding if it's doing it often. And all you got to do is change the update interval until you're more comfortable with the performance impact of the add-on. You know, maybe 0.5 is good for you. 
Maybe you feel like 0.7. Maybe you wanted a full one. Whatever you feel is comfortable, change up the interval so it's not as frequent. The animations will be a little less smooth because it won't be as frequent. But that also means it's not eating as much CPU to do that rendering. Like, I know it's really cool if you have real-time rendering, to have the bars, like, jumping up and down as you're trading DPS, like, maybe you're number two or number one, and you're fighting over number one, and the bars are going back and forth, back and forth. And it's really cool. Like, I get that. But it's not really cool, and you're not going to stay number one DPS if it's making your FPS go in the toilet. So consider that as well. What's really cool is game performance. So this is the key to reeling details in. Change this slider until details is in a more comfortable place because the default of 0.2, like over here, it's extremely demanding. And that's why details is having performance issues. That's how you fix details. So that covers the add-ons that like really stick out to me right now. Besides, in general, like I said, you might have other add-ons that are not compatible with the expansion. Again, don't check, disable your check engine light. Replace it with one that doesn't cover your windshield, and then it won't be annoying. There's a little, little thing here where it doesn't show on your screen until you click it and show it. These are errors I had a long time ago. Anyways, that's all I really have for this video. I was originally going to do the graphic setting part in this video too, but some stuff came up and I had to stop recording, and I just didn't get a chance to finish it up, so I'm going to split that into another video where I can do it right. First half asset, incomplete in this one. I'll get up as soon as I can when I get a chance to re-record that bit of the video. But anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.